I can tell you that this afternoon, Metro's largest union, ATU Local 689, is calling for an immediate review of Metro's policies and procedures to make sure that everyone is safe. As for that Metro employee who they were saying uh, is a hero, 64-year-old Robert Cunningham, he is being called a hero right now. Uh, he was a mechanic in Metro's power department, being called a good guy. Uh, and we do want to tell you that the Metro station here is still closed down at this point in time. So that's something you need to be aware of if you're coming through here. But yeah, riders obviously shaking up right now. Again, another violent day on Metro and riders aren't holding back with their thoughts about safety. It's very clear that Metro needs better security. Um, anytime people can continuously bring guns on our trains and guns on our buses, um, yet you say you want to increase ridership, something has to be done. Karen Ernst lives in this neighborhood right around the Potomac Avenue station. She's been pleading for a better safety presence here. If we had had a safe passage person here this morning who was a violence interrupter, they can tune into these types of things. They understand, they recognize when there's problems that are brewing. Her own daughter was on the platform 30 minutes before the shooting. It terrifies me that my daughter was down there and could she, she could be down there, she could be the next victim. There are residents here who tell us they'll now think twice about riding Metro and they won't let their children use it to get to school. Meanwhile, Metro GM Randy Clark reassuring riders that the system is safe but he pivoted back to his employee that was killed. To think that someone came today doing their job, then tried to intervene and protect another person that lives here and lost their life um, is really sad. One of the darkest days for Metro as a transit agency in recent history. Absolutely, and back here now live at the Potomac Avenue station. Guys, just as we were on the air, uh, introducing our story here, the station has reopened. So hmm. that is some good news for commuters tonight who are on the uh, orange, silver, and blue lines tonight. Shuttle buses were over here taking everyone around, but now uh, people are coming and going inside of the Potomac Avenue station. So if you're going home on your commute tonight, this is obviously a good development. But I did ask Metro today, guys, where were the transit police? Uh, Metropolitan Police, they said that they were on the scene within minutes. I have not heard back yet uh, from Metro about how close transit police were. Oh, Anna, did they, what, did they tell you anything about what they plan on doing with Metro Police going forward? Are they going to be increasing the presence of police around there? You heard riders asking for that. Absolutely, and this is something Metro's general manager says that he's been working to. In fact, since he took over, he says he has significantly increased Metro Transit Police patrols across the entire system. He says he's also putting mental health specialists on the system to kind of address some of these situations. But obviously, an incident like today, it opens up a whole new set of questions, guys. Hmm. Back to you. It sure does. Adam Tuss, thanks so much, thanks, Adam. Adam.